Hello darlings, I am Cassandra George Sturgis. Welcome to my channel Authentic Beauty Handmade Dolls and Crafts. In this video, I am going to show you how to prepare yarn wefts for your sock rag doll. Thank you so much for watching. I simply use a piece of cardboard and I cut it to the desired length and I wrap the yarn very securely around the cardboard and I left like a little ledge for myself so that I could have a space to place the hot glue and and then and to make sure that I could cut it in half. Now when you are wrapping the yarn around your cardboard, or it could be a cassette, or I don't know, like a cassette, maybe a, a DVD, or uh, you know what, it, it could be um, a CD, a CD, whatever length you want for your doll, you just want to make sure that you have something you can wrap the yarn around, and you want to make sure you have at least a half an inch of a ledge. So that when you place the hot glue, you're going to use the nozzle of the hot glue gun and press it into the yarn so that all of the little pieces of yarn will stick together. Once it dries, you're going to cut it down the middle. Make sure that you push the yarn together as tightly as you can because if you leave spaces it's going to not look um, full and voluminous you know for the doll's hair and you also want to make sure that it's not packed so tightly that you skip some of the pieces of yarn by mistake another method that a lot of people use that most people use to create the wefts for their yarn hair for their doll is they'll wrap it around the uh, just like I'm doing the cardboard or a DVD or a book and what they'll do is take a strip of fabric and hand sew it right down the middle and they'll use that as a well. Now I personally like the hot glue because it's very clean, it's fast, um, because the fabric is very soft and flexible it sticks very well it does not come out once the hot glue hits the yarn it really holds it together but there are other ways to do it uh, oh another way that I discovered is to use a fabric fuse tape um, if you use a fabric fuse tape you go ahead and use the same method a book a DVD a piece of cardboard and you take the fabric fuse tape and you just press it across the ledge make sure that all of the yarns have an opportunity to attach to the tape and then cut it down the middle and you can go ahead and tape it to the doll's hair this is a really cool method as well I've used it several times but this is my go-to and I like it a lot Sometimes when I use the fabric fuse tape, the yarn does have a tendency to come a loose sometimes. Like it'll, you know, it falls out more, especially over time. But with the hot glue, it remains in place. Now if you feel nervous about this, I would totally suggest that you sew the yarn wefts to a piece of fabric the way most people do it because when you use hot glue it's permanent uh, especially with this type of um, you know uh, fabric like sometimes you can use hot glue and you can kind of peel it off but this is a permanent process so if you feel nervous about getting it right then I would totally suggest that you go ahead and sew the wefts in place I also suggest that you use a low setting hot glue gun because it is very tacky and 
because the glue doesn't um, get as hot, it's um, if you make a mistake, it cools faster and sometimes you can pull it off. But if you use the hot setting, it's like, you know, it, it seals into the fabric a lot faster and it's more permanent. And because yarn is a very soft uh, medium, you don't really need a hot, you know, a very hot, hot glue gun in order for it to seal to the doll's hair, scalp. I do apologize for the poor, um, I want, what, what is it, it's not lighting, but that the fact that the doll is not centered in front of the camera, but it was very difficult for me to see what I was doing and to record it at the same time. And at this point in making a doll, it becomes very costly to make mistakes because, you know, I've already sewn her, stuffed her, um, just a lot of things have happened. <laughs> so I have to be really careful. And um, even though I'm recording, I realize I'm a little out of focus, or maybe a hundred out of focus, but I'll risk ruining the doll's hair. So please forgive me, but I hope that you understand the process. I apologize for the camera being out of focus. I am giving Jules the sock rag doll bangs and yeah, and I'm, I'm just cutting it kind of willy nilly. But because this fabric, I mean, I'm sorry, this yarn is so fluffy, it really covers mistakes. Like if you make a mistake, it's going to fluff out and it's going to, you know, it's not going to show. But I really, really love this yarn. I have it in so many different colors and I'm going to make some other dolls. I'm so inspired by it. It's very beautiful. It's very soft and it's um, very easy to work with. I used the exact same method to attach the hair to Julian the rag sock doll. This is Jewel's boyfriend. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was just her friend or I wasn't sure what was going on. But at some point I realized that he's a, he's a boyfriend. I love him so much. I am going to post the tutorial on how to bake him from start to finish in the future so look out for that it's pretty much the same process but I've, i'm not really sure if i'm going to you know split the videos or just make it one video um i don't know i haven't decided yet but i just want to you know make sure that everybody is able to see step by step how to make these very easy and fun cloth dolls so this is julian and i really could not see so I had to turn off the camera and just get serious because with the hair being short and fluffy, you know, it was getting in the way of the hot glue and I just decided, you know, I just really needed to um, put the doll in my lap and just zero in and pay attention. I know there is a doll inside of you who is just dying to come to life, but only you can breathe life into her. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.